Welcome to Jay Josephson's Air Permit Renewal Information Session. Um, we want to welcome you and let you know that this session is being recorded. Can everybody see my screen? Yes. So the purpose of our meeting is to provide public uh, information session to comply with Administrative Order 2021-25. Notice of the session was provided 30 days prior uh, in local newspapers. The public comment period will end 30 days from today on July 14, 2023. An opportunity for questions and comments on the renewal of Jay Josephson's Title V air permit will be provided at the end of the presentation as well as um, the session will. Mm, hmm. Session starting early since no one. Uh, wanted since there to were no participants who who are since there, were, there was no one who elected to participate, we're beginning the session early and recording it at, and the recording will be available at the DEP, New Jersey DEP. Um, today's meeting will focus on a couple of different things, a little background about Jay Josephson and our facility, details on the Title V air permit renewal, um, other environmental permits, uh, a little discussion about our environmental stewardship recognition, and then um, we will close at the opportunity for uh, questions and comments. Jay Josephson is located at the corner of 35 Empire Boulevard and Horizon Boulevard. We have, we produce five brands, Bolta, Janan, Symphony, Tower, and Vicon wall covering. The facility began operating at this location in South Hackensack in 1969 when Jay Josephson relocated from Manhattan. We currently employ approximately 140 associates. We manufacture contract wall covering and wall protection for hospitality, healthcare, corporate, food service, and institution markets. Contract wall covering and wall protection are more durable, scrubbable, and stain resistant than paint and much more attractive. This is an example of one of our wall coverings called Big Geo in our Bolta brand. Here is Wicker Park in our Janan brand. Next we have Vicon brand stacked, which has 16 SKUs. And the last image is a picture of P3 Tech Exhale, um, which is shown in a hospital setting, which is a common use for our P3 Tech. I'll turn it over to Jeff. Yeah, uh, my name is Jeff Dougal. Um, Jay, Jill, the facility here is required to have a Title V air permit. It has the potential to omit the following, all of which are substantially limited by the company's permit requirements and by the company's proactive environmental processes. Volatile organic compounds or otherwise VOCs, nitrogen oxides, carbon monoxide, uh, sus and suspended particulate. Yeah, go ahead. Um, Jay Josephson has operated under a Title V air permit since 2003. The permit includes the following operations. Um, we have three press lines, printing presses, controlled by a regenerative thermal oxidizer. We have two small proofing presses. We have four laminators, and we have uh, some auxiliary equipment, including uh, some ink mixers, um, solvent storage tanks, a boiler, and trim stations. The Title V air permit must be renewed every five years, and we have a pending application right now. No changes are being made to the existing permit during the renewal process. Recently, recently enacted New Jersey environmental rule encourages air permit applications to conduct an information session to allow for public engagement. Uh, which Jay Josephson has willingly agreed to do and is doing so now. We have some other permits too besides the air permit. We have a permit for hazardous waste, 
Uh, we have a, a stormwater permit. We're in the stormwater pollution prevention program, and uh, we're uh, under the DPCC, Discharge Pollution Control and Countermeasures Program, where we conduct monthly and annual inspections of our storage tanks. Um, back in 2014 or so, we started working on uh, obtaining some environmental stewardship awards as part of the New Jersey DEP's environmental stewardship program. We now have nine of them, uh, including environmental policy, environmental management systems, environmental purchasing policy, green building implementation, water use reduction, materials conservation, and process operations, energy use, you know, all trying to be a good corporate citizen and minimizing our impact on the environment. Please ask any questions or make any comments now that you have about J. Joseph's and or the renewal of its air permit. Any questions will be responded to at the end of the comment period in coordination with the DEP. A record of this meeting will be available on the NJDEP website. And written questions or comments may submit it via email to myself at jdougal at jjosephson.com or via the USPS to jdougal, jjosephson, Inc. at 35 Empire Boulevard, South Hackensack, 07606.